Happy New Year. This is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for the week beginning Monday the 7th of January, ending Friday the 11th of January 2019, our first full week of the year. Hope you had a great holiday season. If you're just returning and getting back to work, which I know many of you are, let's take a look at the uh, ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market futures form. You know, mixed week last week. We kind of went lower early, then we bounced back late and had a dead day on Friday. Um, it's been an interesting little bottom trying to form here. Let's go through the major indices on the daily charts, then we'll look at the intra week action. We'll talk about the economic data and what to expect. We're still compiling our end of year results. We've put out the November and December numbers for stocks, futures, and Forex. And then we'll do the summaries for the total gear this week. Probably put together a market recap for the year as well, either in writing or in video. Here's crude oil up 75 cents, but just to 48.71 in California over the weekend. I can tell you that it helped <laughs> having oil down in the 40s because California could be pretty expensive for gas and it wasn't as bad as usual. Gold up five though. Gold's been on the rise slowly but steadily climbing back to the mid-year numbers. S&P cash gains 84.5 on Friday after dipping on Thursday. Um, you know, up a little bit for the week and off the lows from that spike the week before. NASDAQ 100 up 275 points. Sure, why not? Uh, Socks up 47.93 near the lows, but off of them. Biotechs up 156.54. Russell 2000 up 49. The VIX loses $4.07. Remember, the VIX never got to 40, and that's usually one of the components we need to get a, uh, a broad market bottom in a panic. So we're not there yet. 10 day moving average on the VIX is at 1.19, but we got a 0.4, I'm sorry, on the trend. But we got a 0.42 reading on Friday, so we need some big numbers to drop off to get that trend average daily number down lower. We got the uh, Nasdaq volume 2.6 billion shares, basically um, better on Thursday and Friday than it was earlier in the week, which we had the holiday, so that's no surprise. Advanced decline ratio on the Nasdaq, the biggest number in the last 12 months, plus 220, uh, 2253. It's a lot more stocks up than down. Uh, but they were very negative the day before, so I don't know. Plus, uh, and then the same thing on the New York. Plus, basically 2,400, and that's the biggest number in 12 months as well. Google gains $52.60. Apple up $6.07 off the lows after the gap down after the earnings warning back on Wednesday. Netflix up 26.37. Strong day for Netflix. Amazon up 75.11. Tesla up $17.33. Facebook up $6.21. Goldman Sachs recovers $5.54. This thing was really had a bad year last year. We'll talk about the big stocks and what they did for the year in our recap for the year. The Dow was up 746, not that we spend a lot of time looking at the Dow, which, by the way, had dropped about 5,000 points in three months prior to that. And TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, uh, down about 43, but we did have a 13 sell signal a couple days ago, and that's maybe to be expected. Let's take a look at the intra-week action. I'm going to go to 10-minute candles, but remember we had a holiday on Tuesday. So basically what it looks like is this. Um, this was the week. So you can see the tail end of last, the Friday before, gapped up on Monday, filled the gap, closed about where we started. Closed on Tuesday, gapped down Wednesday, filled the gap, closed about where we started. Thursday, gapped down, went lower, tried to recover, and then went lower. That was the Apple warning day. Friday, gapped up, pushed higher, settled down in the afternoon, and ended up for the week closing positive. On the NASDAQ side, it's pretty much the same story. Let's just put it here and you can see, yep, we were negative into the close on Thursday and then positive by the end of the week. So I don't know if that tells you much. It was kind of a disjointed week. Obviously, we still have people on vacation and the big players have not yet made their way back. That should start to happen this week and we can get back to normal course of business. Monday, ISM non-manufacturing index, 30 minutes into the market. Tuesday, NFIB, uh, Small Business Index, trade balance an hour before the bell. That's a big one. Uh, Jolts job openings at 10 a.m., consumer credit at 3. Wednesday, uh, Fed member Evans speaks. Crude oil inventory is an hour in. 10-year uh, bond auction. The minutes from the last Fed meeting come out at 2. Thursday, the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers. Natty Gas, an hour in. Uh, Fed Chair Powell speaks at noon. We've got a 30-year bond auction. Friday, the CPI, and then federal budget balance. Um, so we'll see. I mean, hey, this is what matters most is that 2019 has officially started. We often talk about the fact that if the first three days of January go one way, uh, then the rest of the month usually goes the other. You know, uh, Wednesday was kind of down. Uh, Thursday was kind of down, more down. 
Friday was a recovery, and the net of that is green, but I wouldn't say all three days were in one direction. So I don't know that we have anything to work with off of that old rule. So we'll just do what we do. We'll get back to it. Happy New Year. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading.